Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we will show you the worst horror movies ever made. So grab your popcorn and turn down the lights and let's begin the countdown. Number 5. Jaws The Revenge A boring and unnecessary sequel with some shark attacks. All of a sudden the shark is trying to get revenge because it has some sort of psychic connection with the main character. It has none of the redeeming qualities that made the original Jaws such a classic movie. Instead, there is a ludicrous storyline filled with unnecessary scenes that attempt a slow build while you're getting to know the characters. The dialogue is hilariously bad, and the special effects are even worse. Even the shark attacks. For anyone with even a passing familiarity with the previous Jaws movies and horror movies in general, offer no suspense and not even the faintest tinge of a scare. There is really no reason for this movie to exist. Number 4. Bats. It's neither scary or creepy. This bad scientist movie is about bats that attack humans and the humans who track them. The script is full of hopelessly banal dialogue, completely lacking in camp value. The mechanical bats are among the worst movie props in recent history. Sometimes they look like cats with wings. Sometimes they resemble gargoyles. That's what we do. And sometimes they look like little gray Yodas with oversized incisor teeth. Having your own house infested with bats would be more welcome than to watch this movie again. Before proceeding further, if you like my content and want more videos like this, please like this video. Number 3. Fear.com This is one of those hopelessly muddled horror movies where you end up feeling more disturbed by the incomprehensible plotting and lurching camera work than anything unfolding on screen. Four bodies are found in New York City and they all died 48 hours after logging onto a site named Fear.com. I figured Fear.com was going to be bad news when I saw the trailer and noticed it was promoted with the line from the director of House on Haunted Hill. Fear.com is full of inconsistencies and contradictions, but none are more disturbing than the fact that not a single policeman wears gloves at any of the umpteen crime scenes scattered throughout the film. Number 2. House of the Dead it promised mayhem, zombies, and blood, but fails to capture the essence of its video game source material. A group of college students attending a rave on a remote island when they discover a sinister secret, the script seems to have been written in a hurry, with dialogue that's cringeworthy at best and downright absurd at worst. The horror elements, which should be the film's redeeming quality, fall flat due to a lack of suspense, uninspired jump scares, and a reliance on cliches that were tired even in 2003. The characters are so one-dimensional that you'll find yourself rooting for the zombies. Number 1. An American Werewolf in Paris Howls its way into the realm of cinematic disasters, leaving audiences with an unbearable urge to look away from this misguided attempt at horror comedy. We follow a group of American tourists in Paris who become entangled with a pack of werewolves. The characters are as forgettable as they are cliched. With the lead, the script seems to have been written on a cocktail napkin during a late-night brainstorming session. The special effects are a mix of outdated CGI and practical effects that look like they were borrowed from a Halloween clearance sale. The comedic moments feel forced and out of place while the horror elements are more likely to induce eye rolls than genuine fright. That's all for today. Which of these movies will you actually watch? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.